Hi, and welcome back. Last week, we saw the story of how um, the lost Devaram was actually being looked for. And that was none other than our Raja Raja Soran. He had decided that he is going to go on this quest to find out where this lost treasure is. He had sent a huge announcement in his kingdom telling whosoever had these manuscripts had to submit them to the court. But he didn't get any even after months. And that's when his minister spoke to him and told him about this boy called Nambi. Nambi was so famous because he was supposed to be talking to none other than Pilar. Although our Raja was very amused, he wanted to know more about him. And so the minister told the story about the boy who spoke to Pilar. Shall we go find out more about him? Now in this town um, of uh, the Raja lived in uh, the place called Tanjavur. And a little lord of Tanjavur, there is a town called Tirunarayur. Tirunarayur is even today very, very famous for this temple of Lord Shiva called Saundareshwara. And that temple has Pilar in the complex. It's called uh, Pulla Pilar. The Pulla Pilar had one priest who was dedicated to take care of it, and that happens to be Nambi's father. He would go there every day, service the Pilar, um, clean him up, dress him up, give him food, and help the people who come to pray. One day, Nambi's father had to go on an important business out. There was no one to take care of Pilar that day. And so Nambi's mother made some food and called Nambi and told him, come here. Before you go to school, go to the temple, make your uh, the usual services for Pilar, present him this food, and then you can go to school. So Nambi was very happy. Yes, I'm going to do something as important as my dad does. He happily takes the plate and goes all the way to that temple. He sees Pilar, he cleans him up, he dresses him up beautifully, and he does the puja for him and places the food before him. Now, with the food before him, he was expecting Pilar to come out and eat, obviously. But Pilar didn't come out and eat. So Nambi sits over there and asking Pilar, so when are you going to come and eat? I'm waiting for you here. It's time for me to go to school. Come fast. Of course, Pilar won't come. And still Nambi is waiting. And then he starts talking to Pilar. You know what? You're making me late today. How am I supposed to go to school? And my mom said that you will eat this food. And you're still sitting over there. And this goes on for one hour. Nambi gets angry. Are you going to come and eat or not? Later on, he starts getting upset. Did I do something wrong? Why are you angry with me? Why are you not coming out and eating? I, I, I did everything perfect. What is happening? And now Nambi is so upset that he makes a decision. He tells Pilar, if you don't come out now, I'm just going to bang my head on this platform and die because it seems that you're not happy with whatever I did. And he is about to go and hit his head on the platform when none other than Pilar comes out and speaks to Nambi and asks him for the food. Nambi is so happy, obviously, and takes the food and gives it to Pilar. And Pilar eats everything. Now, after Pilar eats, Nambi asks him, See, had I, I called you one hour back. You didn't come then. After so much waste, wastage of time, you've come. If I go to school now, my teacher will scold me. I can't go to school. So you have to teach me now. And Pilar also happily teaches Nambi. And Nambi takes this plate and goes home. He takes it to his mom and his mom opens the plate, the cover and sees inside there's no food. She takes it to her husband and says, see, He's eaten everything or he's given it away to his friends. There's nothing over here. No prasadam for us. And she goes away huffed and angry about it. But the father thinks. He knows his son. 
Nambi wouldn't do something like this. There is something happening here. And so he calls Nambi the next day and tells Nambi, today also I have to go out for a job. You need to help me. Just like you did yesterday, please take the food that Amma makes and go and present it to Pilayar after doing the usual services. Um, and of course, Nambi is so happy. Oh, that means my parents were happy with what I did yesterday and they're asking me again. He's more than happy to do it again. You know, that was the day kids would listen to their parents 100% of the time. Our Nambi now more than happily takes the plate and goes to the temple and he does everything that he's supposed to do for Pulayar, uh, cleans him up, dresses him up, decorates him up and places the food. And now he sits and says, Player, come out, eat. And lo and behold, this time he didn't have to wait for long. Player immediately came out and started eating the food. But guess who's watching this from outside? Nambi's father. And with tears in his eyes, he is so shocked because he has been praying to this player for so many years and he never got to get to player to eat the food. But his son, his young innocent son did it. While Nambi finished his job and came out happily, the father fell at his feet and said, from now on, I am not going to service this player. He is all yours. You take care of him. And that's the story of this boy called Nambi. The father spoke about it to the mom. And there were people in the temple who have seen this. And slowly word reached the entire village and then the town, and then the city, and then the entire country is hearing about him. And that's how our minister heard about it. And that's how our Raja also heard about it because the minister told him. Now the Raja feels he definitely has to see this amazing boy. And he goes to the boy, Nambi, and tells him, Nambi, I need your help. Can you please somehow try to get Pilayar to tell us where Devaram is. Now Nambi has already become best buddies with Pilayar. So uh, he was like more than happy to uh, help the king. And he goes to Pilayar and asks him, where do I find Devaram? Pilayar answers saying, go to Chidambaram. With that, our Nambi and our king and the minister, all of them go to Chidambaram. Chidambaram is just 10 kilometers north of Tirunarayur. But Chidambaram temple is a huge temple. They go all around the temple. They walk all around. They find, they look, they couldn't find it anywhere. They couldn't find any sign to say that the Devaram is there. That is when there is, uh, the, the Raja asks Arnambi, you have to help us now. Somehow tell me where to look for it. Nambi then looks and there is a single Pulayar uh, statue over there, an idol of Pulayar over there in the premise of Chidambaram. And he goes directly to that Pulayar and prays to Pulayar, please show us some way so that we can find out where it, it is. And it is said that the Pilayar, which had its trunk down, took its trunk all the way up and showed it in a particular direction. Nambi knew right then that wherever the trunk, the end of the trunk is pointing, that's where we have to go looking. And together with the king, both of them go in search and they find that the direction that it is going all the way to, there is a door over there. They rush up to the door. It's a locked door. No one could enter the door. And it's all looking antique and old and all of that. But you know, the more interesting thing is, right outside the door, there is this banner which says, only with the presence of the four will we open this door. Our Raja just sat over there, upset, wondering, what is this next riddle? What is this riddle? Shall we find out in our next video? Until then, bye.